Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia with a little grungy Christmas journal to share. Um, I love this style of journal and I finally got to work on one. It's not large in terms of pages, but um, I've really enjoyed doing it. Inspired by several people and I'll um, put their names and YouTube channels in the comment box. Um, let's just have a look at at the journal. So the cover is constructed from tea dyed fabric and then I've placed this large runner doily over it which I've also partially tea dyed. On the front I've done some collaging as I like to do. Um, over the doily I've placed this vintage Christmas card image. There's some Venice lace up here, some tea dyed uh, muslin, some of what Kay Coma calls um, scary fabric um, and then some chiffon uh, roses on the side here. So on the edges uh, the doily pokes out and I've used this very pretty green with a bit of red through it um, sari silk. So because there are only 10 folded pages, I've used a simple pamphlet stitch and let that show through. And on the strings, I've put some um, rusted bells in keeping with the Christmas theme. So inside is also uh, fabric. And I had this gorgeous fabric in my quilting stash, which is vintage Christmas postcards and um, I thought that would be perfect. I have used a little bit of iron-on pellon between the two layers of fabric to give it a little bit more substance. So the actual page construction is um, a layering method and I'll um, talk about how I've done that. I used, um, I had baking paper left over from tea dyeing. I reinforced that with um, some music paper and then did a lot of sewing of the other pages. The glue doesn't really work on baking paper. It's non-stick, so that makes sense. So the papers that I've used are from Shinami Rose Christmas List because they are uh, very grungy and um, I've made pockets and things out of them here. So this is a little um, coin envelope and I've used... Um, glued a uh, sentiment on that. This is actually from Calico Collage. I use quite a few of her Christmas um, ephemera pieces in this. So on the front here of some cardstock, just a little bit of layering, music paper, and um, a little piece that I've cut off one of Daisy's pages. So that pops into this top pocket. And here, this is from Calico Collage, little envelope, and I've um, made a little card from commercial paper um, glued on a leftover piece and cut out a little piece from one of Daisy's pages and put that on there. So there's those two little pages and so you can see I've torn around the pages, um, torn around the baking paper, sewed that on and on the back here these are pages from uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol and I've used quite a few of those throughout. So a little piece from Calico Collage, made a little pocket in there and just put in this tiny wee booklet with some scrappy bits in there. So everything's been tea dyed and inked with um, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. There are also uh, blank pages and you can see how heavily I've um, torn those and then stained them and inked them. Really cute little piece there with Santa Claus and I love the way it's like angled on and given the, um, the impression of layering. So this was a piece of a page and I've just cut it out, folded it to make this um, interesting sized piece for writing. And on the back here I've um, Laid, torn the pages um, vertically and then used a little person from Tim Holtz Christmas, a little bit of um, trim down there. I've left all of the strings on. To, um, that really assists with that um, grungy look. So this is a vintage photo 
I like this one because it says um, in German, Merry Christmas. And stamped on the back of that. Ephemera piece, really pretty. Just a doily. I hear a bit of layering with some fibres and um, a bit of lace. Rusty pin that I've done and hung a little um, ticket off that. Little Christmas bird. That piece is from Calico Collage, as is this one. This is one from, I think, from Daisies. So you can see how grungy they, these pages are. And this one um, was a, a little piece that I've cut out and made a pocket out of. Tickets, which, which I love to use. They're daisies available from in her store. So I made some large uh, tags and used the um, sari silk on the top. So this one, I've added a piece and made a little pocket there. because so I wanted some top loading pockets so I could have the sari silk poking out. And here I've laid that made two little pockets. So this one's a little envelope. Have a little die for that and that closes up. So I've made this little piece to go in there. Ridiculously fun. So this is another little envelope and a little piece to go in there and you can see I've even tea dyed that. And in the top there, another little piece. So this is um, some old packing paper. Um, and I've sewed that and made a pocket here. I've created a little banner. Just popped a piece of ephemera in there. This one um, is a little pocket I've torn around the edges. Again, the sewing, um, another little postcard, really cute image of a child with a snowball and used uh, the sari silk to make a little ribbon embellishment there. This one's a gorgeous um, gold doily. I've done some layering with a little bit of scrunched up uh, paper, some fiber and a little bit of uh, crocheted doily there, hand crocheted, made a little booklet. This one's actually out of baking paper. You can write on it, but I just like the way it feels. And again, the um, page from the, A Christmas Carol, torn that inked around it. So this is the center. There are eight um, full pages and what and two um, what I would call half pages, as well as the doilies. So this is the center. That's onto um, parchment paper. Love this. Put a little Tim Holtz girl there. This one has an envelope. So again, some layering, bit of um, lace. This one's so cute, little um, list. Large tag again, made out of some of Daisy's paper. And I, I like them to be quite stiff, so I've backed it with um, some scrap paper. This one's a small, whoops, small um, photo, and I've just made um, a little tuck spot and popped some ledger paper in there. So you could write there as well. So a little bit of um, doily and trim. This is the other side of that little bag that I made. I thought there were two pieces in there. No, this one flips out. Pockets, I never know which side to grab from. So here, um, used a little coin envelope and put on a piece of ephemera and some Tim Holtz Christmas people.
I made a belly band out of this one, decor um, used a decorative punch and then put an image over it. How beautiful are those little Christmas birds with um, the holly? Oh yeah, and I forgot about this little guy, little Santa. And uh, I backed it with um, some of the Christmas Carol our Christmas Carol pages and um, it just goes in there. A little bit of whimsy. So pocket again. Space to write. Top loading pocket with a large tag. And on the back here, just cut out some little pieces and um, the top one has a space for a little envelope and of course it's got something in it. You can open that out. Layered that onto some more of the um, a Christmas Carol paper, some baking paper and on the side here, another little piece. And of course you could write up there. So again, a little pocket here, popped a little piece of paper in there. Again, tea dyed and inked. And um, two pockets here. The top one, the top one has two little tickets in it. And of course you could write there. And also there and then that little pocket there. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed um, looking at my little grungy Christmas journal. I've really enjoyed making it. Can't wait to do some more. And um, give me a like or a comment. Love to hear from people who uh, watch my videos. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.